Greetings, let's take a quick look at the EQ Match process in Spectra Layers Pro 8. With EQ Match, you can register a selection anywhere on the spectral graph as an EQ profile and then apply the profile across layers. Use this adjustable algorithm at the tracking and mastering stages in music and to establish uniformity in post. And speaking of post, this video will also provide a quick run through of the Ambience Match process. EQ Match and Ambience Match work well together and they have the same general workflow. And with all that in mind, let's get started. I have the application open with a couple of layers that are currently muted here. A source layer to extract an EQ profile from, and a target layer to apply the profile to. Let's listen to the source. Is everybody happy, Medley? Okay, now I'm gonna go back and mute the source, unmute the target, and play it for you by hitting the space bar. I want to be happy. Here's the workflow. With the source layer selected, and I'll play it again. Is everybody happy, Medley? Now I'm ready to register the EQ profile. I'm choosing the Time Range Selection tool up here in the Tools panel, and now I'm making a selection that covers a portion of the speaker's voice, because the sound of his voice is what we'd like to match. Now I'm moving to the process menu and selecting EQ Match Register EQ. The registration confirmation dialog appears, and now the profile is ready to be applied to the target. Here I have the target layer selected and soloed again, and I'm going back to process, EQ Match, but this time I'm going to select the EQ Match option. The second dialog box appears. The match ratio is essentially a mix control. The default is 100%, which of course means a 100% match. Clicking on OK now will engage the process, and so here we go. Let's listen to the result. I want to be happy. And that's the process. It's easy. I'll undo the process so that you can hear the difference. I want to be happy. And one more time, the processed sound. I want to be happy. Okay, what else could we do to the target to make it sound more like the source? Let's try Ambience Match, another new Spectra Layers Pro 8 feature. Make a selection on the source. Notice that here, my selection lies directly adjacent to the selection made for the EQ Match profile. Now, however, rather than selecting the voice, I'm selecting the noise instead. And you know what to do. Process, Ambience Match, Register Ambience, and the registration is complete. Click. Back at the target layer, Process, Ambience Match, Ambience Match. The second dialog box once again appears. Click OK and let's listen. I want to be happy. EQ Match and Ambience Match both work great in the Spectral Layer standalone application. In ARA mode, the Ambience Match process in particular works extremely well on the Cubase and Nuendo timelines. In the DAW workflow, you can easily create room tone and background ambience textures of any length. Let's line up all of our sounds in a row for review. First, the source. Is everybody happy, Medley? The unprocessed target. I want to be happy. The EQ match target. I want to be happy. The EQ match target with ambience match applied. I want to be happy. And finally, back to the source. Is everybody happy, Medley? We hope this tutorial made you happy. Make sure to check out all the Spectra Layers tutorials. You'll see these new processes in action in both standalone mode and in ARA mode. On the Cubase and Noendo timelines, these tools and processes work seamlessly to provide an unparalleled audio editing experience. We hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. Spectra Layers Pro 8 delivers audio empowerment. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button and subscribe to the Steinberg channel.